Good evening. For three decades, he enforced the law, even doing his share of busting drunk drivers. Now, former Albuquerque police officer Rodney Locke is accused of a drunken hit and run, killing a 60-year-old woman in a wheelchair and not bothering to stop. Tonight, the victim's son, who drove here today from Colorado, is sharing his sorrow, sitting down with News 13's Fernanda Lopez. I just want, you know, justice to be properly served. Casey Freeze remembers his mom as loving and caring. It's going to be hard, you know. I mean, Christmas is going to come. I mean, you know, Thanksgiving is going to come. And I know I'm not going to be able to see her ever again. Kay Moss Freeze died Friday morning after being hit by a vehicle late Thursday near Louisiana and Lomas while in her wheelchair. Her son says she was staying at Princeton Place just a block away, getting help for her physical and mental health issues. And now losing her to this, this, this situation, you know, has made my life a, a living hell. According to a criminal complaint, a caller reported a blue Dodge Ram pickup hit someone in a wheelchair, then continued north on Louisiana. When police tracked down the pickup, former APD officer Rodney Locke told officers at his home, you're looking for me, aren't you? This morning, Locke, who worked as an APD officer for 30 years, went before a judge after posting bond Friday. Police say he admitted to having three or four beers that night. Officers said he smelled of alcohol, had slurred speech, and had bloodshot eyes. Today, his attorney told a judge he's taking care of any issues. We're going to be having him privately screened and he'll be going through private counseling. His attorney assured the judge Locke is not a flight risk and has already removed all weapons from his home. He says he also won't drink or do drugs. Results from a blood test will determine if the district attorney's office will charge Locke with DWI. Meanwhile, Casey says he can't imagine his life without his mom. Just knowing that I can't even call her ever again. I can't even say, hey, mom, how you doing? I can't. I can't even say, hey, mom, I love you, you know? <laughs> Fernanda Lopez, KRQE, News 13. Locke currently is working at UNMH as a security officer. He's out on a $50,000 bond tonight, charged with leaving the scene of a deadly accident.